In this video, I'm updating an old Lane cedar chest that we found at the thrift store for $30. First, we removed the recalled lock and ordered a new one for free from their website. Then I flipped it over so I can put some new legs on it. I cut a few pieces of wood to give the new legs some support. Then I attached some metal leg plates and screwed on the turned legs. I removed the old hardware with my electric screwdriver and then I filled in those old holes and these chewed up corners with my favorite wood filler, Quickwood. When it was all dry, about an hour later, I sanded all of the Quickwood so it was flush and smooth. Then I remembered I hadn't cleaned it yet, so I cleaned everything. It's honestly best to just clean before you sand so then you don't push the oils and grime into the wood. And then I scuff sanded everything with 220 grit sandpaper to scuff up the surface for the paint to hold on better. And while I had the sander out, I sanded the top of the cedar chest down to bare wood. And then I cleaned up all of the dust and sprayed on two coats of clear shellac. The next day, I mixed together driftwood and China Blue General Finishes milk paint to make a muted blue paint color. Man, I love this color. I love the paint too though because it levels out really well when you brush it on or roll it on. And then I brushed on the paint with my favorite little round zebra paintbrush. After that first coat of paint, I filled in some of the bigger cracks with some paintable caulking. waited 20 minutes and then I painted another coat of paint. While I waited for the paint to dry, I worked on the top and on the legs. I painted the crevices of the legs with some brown glaze to make them look more like the top of the cedar chest that I had sanded down. And then I sanded and wiped on a coat of poly on the legs and on the top. I like to top coat the raw wood before moving on to the next step so the paint doesn't soak in too fast. After the top coat was dry, I brushed on some homemade whitewash and wiped it back off before it dried. I did have to sand some of it back off because it dried way too fast on this project. Then I top coated everything with more of my favorite water-based polyurethane and added new hardware to the fake drawers. And this is what it looks like now. Now here's my question, would you paint a cedar chest?